guys, welcome back! We are continuing our series for short riders and today we'll talk about walking around the bike and walking with the bike. These are the skills that are greatly underappreciated and many people don't even bother to ever learn them. But if you are not tall enough to flat foot, it's hard for you to balance the bike to move it around. So you need to learn how to do this. And these exercises will help you to train your brain and your body how to know the balance of your bike. Walking with the bike is a practical skill on its own. You need it at least once every time you take the bike for a ride. When getting it out from the garage, when you park in a busy parking lot, putting the bike back in the garage. Walking around the bike is also something needed in real life, but mostly it's a balance exercise. Mastering this exercise will help you in many situations. Mounting a bike, dismounting, stopping, emergency stopping. Let's start with walking around the bike. So first we need to put it vertical. You can just push it away. If you are not sure on how much you need to push, you can actually use your hips, lean into it and put it vertically. If it feels still too heavy, here is all trick about this. You just turn the front wheel away from you and then it becomes really light. You can train this on your own driveway or any flat surface where there is nothing to trip over. Just make sure that you have enough space. And for, for the beginning, if you never did this before, I suggest you keep the kickstand down. It's just another layer of safety. So first of all, you and the bike have to work together and you need to make sure that you ground yourself. So for that, you just bend your knees a little bit. This way you're not muscling the bike, you become another point of center point. I suggest first you use both hands when walking around it. And you find that spot where it's not moving at all. These bikes are amazingly balanced, so you should not be applying strength for this exercise. And to start, let's use both hands. You find that balance and you start walking around it. You breathe, you hold it just a little bit, just to find that point of perfect balance. When you come to the back, you will be surprised how easy it is to hold it from this point. You walk around it, you come to this side, Again, you're not pushing, pulling. This is not a strength exercise. To the front, don't forget the front wheel is a little bit out. I have always used these places to hold it in the front. You find your own. And again, you will be surprised how super easy it is when you're just standing in front or in behind of the bike, how well balanced this machine is and you come around. So not that hard, not that scary. You see the kickstand is out and I have it there in case I suddenly lose the balance of it. And then you do the same exercise in the opposite direction. So now let's talk about walking the bike. Taller people typically can do this. Trying to move this machine with their feet. For shorter people, this is obviously not an option. I can hardly touch the ground. So we need a different approach. We need to be smarter and use different skills. So what do we have? We have an engine, we have our brains, and we have clutch. And that's more than plenty to actually walk the bike. So how is this done? You kick it from the kickstand, you start it. And being gentle with the clutch, you just walk next to the bike. You need your walking speed, not riding speed. So you use clutch. You can look at my handwork. 
I'm active on the clutch and I'm holding it a little bit with my brakes because it's a little bit of downhill right here. Look ahead. Don't try to muscle the bike. Make sure you keep its balance. You're just walking with it, like walking with a big dog. You can stop at any point. You can turn. If you need to park it, for example, I wanna park in this spot right here. Or I can make a whole circle if I wish. Or I can turn the other way. For me, I have to stop actually to work with the bike, but it's still the same. You just walk it using the sense of balance. So this is from this side. Sometimes you will need to do this from the other side. It's practically the same. The only difference is that now your clutch is further away from you and I'm not that tall, so sometimes for me it's hard even to reach it. So this is how I would do it. You kick it to the vertical position. You can start it with the kickstands. So that's where walking around the bike gets handy. You start it. It's in the first gear and you start walking with it. The same idea. You keep it vertical, you work it with the clutch, just not super comfortable extending with this, with a hand like that, but it's all doable. I want to turn, I turn the steering, look ahead, don't try to muscle it, just work with it. And it's pretty obedient and it's really powerful. You want to stop? You turn it off, you walk back, and you put the uh, kickstand back in. So one of the indicators of how well you know your bike, your balance, and your clutch is actually walking it uphill and walking it downhill. Because it will require more tuned, more precise adjustment for both. So let's see how it's done uphill. Start the bike and you start walking. Make sure you look ahead. You will need a little bit more gas here, but make sure not to go too fast. You don't want to walk after it, right? And let's stop here. So now, we have two options here, to go back. We can roll it back just on the brakes or we can roll it back on clutch. So right now it's standing in the first gear for me. And you can choose what's more comfortable for you. Some people are more comfortable with the brakes, some people more comfortable with the clutch. I'll do this right now using the clutch. The only difference is that the more I pull in the clutch, the faster it will roll back. To go back, I actually adjust my body position so that I hold it with both hands facing the bike, but still seeing forward and back, making sure it's all safe and just start rolling it back. And this is where the balance of the bike is so critical. Imagine you want to turn around so you start turning the wheel, modulate the clutch, and here you are. You just turned your bike going downhill. So I want to emphasize that these skills are absolutely fundamental for making you a better rider and making sure that you can handle this motorcycle in everyday life. But unfortunately, these skills are frequently underappreciated. And the reason is simple. Most of the riders choose their motorcycles based on what they think they can manage and handle using their strengths. Naturally, they never learn these skills. If we as small riders want to eliminate size as a vector, we have to learn many more things to be better riders and to be safe. Now, if you find value in my videos, please like and subscribe. 
And most importantly, leave your comments because they help me understand what topics to cover in the next videos. Thank you for watching.